Today we're going to go over uh, a couple uh, terms, concentrated and dilute, and then we're going to hit molarity. So we start off with concentrated, and concentrated is a large amount of solute in a small amount of solvent. So how many of you guys have ever had a really strong lemonade before? What does it taste like? Shriyas. Bitter. It's bitter, right? It's really tart. It's hey, guys, that's there's a lot of sugar and lemon juice in it, okay, and a smaller amount of water. Now, how many of you ever had a really dilute uh, glass of lemonade before? What does it taste like? Water. Zwad. Yeah, it tastes like water. Okay, it's watered down. That means it has a small amount of solute in a large amount of solvent. Okay, so really, it's about the so it's about the the amount of solvent because. You might have 300 grams of, of salt, and if you put that in 100 milliliters of water, that's very concentrated. If you put it in a bathtub of water, that is very dilute. So really, it's about the amount of solvent. So these are broad terms, but the concentrated means there's a larger amount of solute and a small amount of solvent, and dilute, small amount of solute, and a large amount of solvent. So moving along, molarity is the measure of that. So if I have something that has a high molarity, that means it's very concentrated. If I have something that has a low molarity, it is very dilute. So how do we solve for molarity? Well, the formula is molarity, which is a unit is a big M, equals moles of solute over liters of solution. So 90% of the time when you get these problems, they're not going to give you moles. They're going to give you grams of solute. So you have to convert to moles. How do I do that? You take the grams they give you, divide it by the molar mass to get the moles. They are also going to give you milliliters a lot, so you have to divide by 1,000 to get liters. So let's do an example problem. We're going to say that I was given um, 56 grams of HCl. And they want to know how many, or what's the molarity of that, if I have 56 grams of HCl in 566 milliliters of water. They want to know what is the molarity. So how do I do that? Well, I first have to convert 56 grams of HCl to moles. So I take 56 grams divided by the molar mass. The molar mass for HCl is 36.461. Okay, that divided by that, so we need to do that for me real quick. 56 divided by 36.461, and I get the moles. So that is 1.5 moles of HCl. Then I take 566 milliliters, I divide it by 1,000 to get my liters, so that's going to be 0.566 liters. So then I take molarity equals 1.5 moles over... 0.566 liters, and my molarity of my hydrochloric acid is what? 2.65 molar, molar, okay? It's big M. So that's how I would do a simple molarity problem with given grams and given milliliters. Now, what if I'm solving for liters? Okay, so this time, I'm solving for liters. So I get... We're going to say that give me the molarity is 7.55 molar solution, and that they give me, uh, let's go with 108 grams of HCl, and they want to know how many liters do I have of that. So, what do I have to do first? I have to convert grams to moles. So, I take 108 grams of HCl. Divided by the molar mass, I'm using the same thing, so it's the same molar mass, so 36.461, and what do I get? 2.96 moles of HCl, right? So now I've got 7.55 molar solution. I've got 2.96 moles over my liters. So how do I solve for that? You have to multiply both sides by L to get L off of this side. Then I have to divide both sides by 7.55. Okay, and that gets it off this side. So my L equals 2.96 moles divided by 7.55 molarity. And what's my answer? 
0.39 liters okay, of solution. So that's how I would do a liter problem. Okay. Now, what if they asked for me, or they asked it for in milliliters? What would I do? Then I have to multiply by a thousand to get it to be 390 milliliters. All right. So you have to look and see what they're asking for. So it's really important in these problems that you look at it to see what they're asking for. All right. So the third type of problem, okay, the third type of problem is going to be what if they give me um, liters and they give me molarity and now I need to solve for the amount okay so in this case I'm gonna take it all the way to grams so if they ask me for grams so if you're asked for grams you must first solve for moles and then convert it to grams alright so we're gonna say they give me 5.7 molar solution and they give me I've got um, 765 milliliters and they're asking me for how many grams of HCl so what do I need to solve for first I need to solve for moles but I need to change this to what liters so I divide by a thousand so that's going to be so it's going to be 5.7 molar, molar equals 0.765 liters and multiply both sides by 0.765 0.765. That gets it off this side, so it's 0.765 times 5.7 gives me what for moles? 0.765 times 5.7. What? 4. Point what? 36 moles. Then how do I? Oh, that's HCl. Okay. And then how do I convert that to grams? Well. Just like in our stoichiometry problem, mole to gram, one mole equals the molar mass, which we've already been doing problems with molar masses with this, so it's 36.461. So then I take my moles times my molar mass, and I get my answer. So what is that? 4.36 times 36.46. 28 28.16 grams of HCl. All right, so that would be if you're solving for the amount of solute, All right? And usually they're gonna ask it for you in grams, so you have to solve for moles first, then convert to grams, all right? Now, the last type of problem is called a dilution problem. And in a dilution problem, you're gonna be using the formula. It's going to be <coughs> the initial molarity so the initial molarity times the initial volume equals the final molarity times the final volume. So these problems are actually really easy to recognize because they're always going to give you three of the four. So you're either, and the units for these are going to be molarity and then liters and then molarity and then liters. So they're either going to give you two liters and one molarity and you solve for the other molarity or they're going to give you two molarities in one liter and you solve for the other liter all right so let's say they give you a problem and they say you have um, 6.5 molar solution we'll say you have 200 milliliters of that so what do i need to do to convert that yeah. divide by a thousand right so that's instead of 200 milliliters it's going to be what 0 0.200 liters and then they say that what is the new molarity so that's my m2 if the molarity changes to 400 milliliters so now 400 milliliters is going to become 0 0.400 liters all right so how do i solve for m2 this times this divided by that right you got to divide both sides by 0.4 so my final molarity is going to equal what? It's going to be 6.5 times 0.2 divided by 0.4. And what do you get? What? 3.25 molar. So my unit for molarity is big M. All right, and then we're going to do one more where you're solving for the 
volume. Okay, so this time they gave me, we're going to say, um, 3.61 molar solution. And they said my initial amount was uh, 5.2 liters. All right, so then I uh, concentration changed to 5.8 um, molar, and they want to know what is my second volume. Okay, so I'm going to take 3.61 times 5.2 divided by 5.8. Right, because you got to divide both sides. My 5.8 to get it off that side. So what is 3.61 times 5.2 divided by 5.8? 3.24. 3.24 liters is my volume, which is V2. All right? So those are two different dilution problems and all three types of molarity problems that you could have. All right? And like I said, the way you recognize what you have, like how do you know which formula to use? If it's a molarity problem, they're only going to give you either grams or moles, and they're going to give you either milliliters or liters once. So you only have one grams or moles, and you have one um, liters. All right? Or if they give you molarity, it's only going to give you one big M. When you have a dilution problem, they're either going to give you two big M's in one volume, which is either milliliters or liters, or they're going to give you two volumes in one Big M, which is molarity. So that's how you have to tell. Like, and then once you know which formula you use, just plug and chug. All right? Cool.